Good afternoon, everybody, or whether it's morning, afternoon or evening, I'm very pleased to meet you all. My name is Amy Lane and I am the opera director that is directing the beautiful piece Romeo et Juliette in this absolutely incredible venue. So we've set it in New York, 1889, it's New Year's Eve, and on New Year's Eve, Juliet is turning from 15 years old to 16 years old. And for her that night, the world will change. Now that classic quote which opens Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, two households both alike in dignity. So these two households, the Capulets, the Montagues, coming from different worlds but living in the same space. The Capulets from New York, the Montagues, originally from Italy, having moved over to New York 15 years ago. These two families are really at war. And this terrible, terrible clash, an unknown clash, an unresolved clash, is going to force these two beautiful heartbeats of Romeo and Juliet to the ground. So what does this production feel like? Well, in Acts 1 and 2, we're full of potential, we're full of hope. It's a party. It's a great night. The year is turning. We're going to start a new decade. Everything is full of hope and potential. But as we track through the story of these two lovers, we're going to find out what breaks these families apart and how an old, aching war forces these two beautiful heartbeats right into the ground. It will feel very filmic. We have this most incredible castle as our background and we're going to bring New York into the space, the enormity of New York initially. And then our production becomes smaller and smaller as we head towards the very last act where it's just about two beings. So why would you come and see Romeo et Juliet? Well, it's very simple. The score is extraordinary. It's both epic and enormous in sound, and yet one of the most intimate pieces that you could work on also. We have a full chorus. We have our soloists, we have dancers, we have a pit full of musicians. It's grand. We have these incredible choruses, and it goes right down also to the most intimate of arias. The story's played in this production over three days, and the action cascades down towards the loss of these two beautiful lives. It's an extraordinary story. It's a story which stands the test of time. Thank you very much, William Shakespeare, for allowing us this incredible playground. Thank you, Guno. What an incredible work you did on an already masterwork. Thank you.